Here's where it gets very interesting. What's that? What's up guys? Will from Royal Canadian Reptiles. Today rocking the KB threads. Shout out to KB Reptiles. Go give them a follow guys. They're really, really cool people. This week we're going to talk about a project that is very special to us. Uh, it's something that only we have as far as I know and it's something that I want to show you guys. It's been a little pet project of ours for oh, about three years now and uh, it's finally starting to come, come to life. So grab a bag of popcorn, sit back and check this out. So back in 2010, I purchased a group of puzzles from Sean Bradley. I got a 2008 Het Puzzle male and a 2010 Het Puzzle female. So we're going to take a look at the Het Puzzle female, but in 2012, I paired those two snakes together and I got exactly what you'd expect. I got 1.1 puzzles. That same year, I bred the male Het Puzzle, 2008 Het Puzzle male, to a super vanilla super pastel. Now we got three eggs, uh, we got three eggs, three slugs, all three were boys. So we got three vanilla pastel males and I kept the nicest one hoping it would prove het puzzle. So if we fast forward to 2016, the pastel vanilla het puzzle had been sitting on the shelf for about three years because I had already made my visual puzzle male. So I was using a puzzle male to produce all my hats and to start that entire project. In 2016, we paired the Vanilla Pastel 50% Het Puzzle back to the original 2010 Het Puzzle from Sean. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the stuff that's, uh, that's popped out of this project. I think you guys will agree with me. We're pretty sure we're onto something here. Now let's take a look at these animals right now and you guys let me know what you think. Okay guys, so here is the original 2010 Het Puzzle female. She is a huge, huge girl. I've only been able to get three clutches from her since 2010, and two of the clutches have been a super, super big surprise. Now with a Het Puzzle, it's got a little bit of a funky look, but nothing that jumps off the page at me. Just, you know, it's a pretty standard looking normal, maybe some of these floating alien heads here, uh, but pretty standard belly. Nothing too crazy. Anyways, so I'm going to show you the puzzle female that we produced from her in 2012. And then we're going to get into the, uh, to what happened once we started to put the vanilla pastel to her. Okay, so here's her daughter. This is a 2012 puzzle female. She's probably not going to cooperate with me. Standard look for a puzzle. Very orangey back, orange golden back. It's got the crazy sides. It's got that puzzle head if she'll cooperate. Standard puzzle belly. Nothing super crazy, right? All right. This is the this is her daughter. And now we're going to show you guys the male vanilla pastel 50% het puzzle that we bred to uh to the original het female. Okay. So here is a vanilla pastel 50% het puzzle. And he did not actually prove out Pretty standard stuff here. Nothing that jumps off the page at me. And I'm just going to move him over to the side and we're going to pull out. Okay. So I bred this male to this female. No other male was in there. No other male bred her. Um, a lot of people have been, I've been asking some opinions on these guys and no one really seems to be able to, to be able to help me out. Anyways. So these two were paired together in 2016. In the summer of 2017, we hatched these. Pretty unexpected. Now here is how these babies aged. Now I've had a lot of people tell me that, oh, this is just a het, a funky het puzzle. Uh, you know, that it's not, nothing genetic. But I'm going to show you guys what a vanilla pastel 100% het puzzle looks like. I don't doubt that she'll prove, but as you can tell, very, very, very different from a vanilla pastel. Very, very, very different. Now what I've been calling this within our own collection is the chaos. And so I believe this to be uh, a recessive mutation. I believe, now you'll see why I think that shortly. Now this is what I've been calling the vanilla pastel chaos. 
and I will show you her brother. Just move her over to the side. Hopefully she'll chill out. Now here is the other one. Now I believe them to both be the same thing. This guy, we bred back to that het puzzle, that original het puzzle where this all started. So we bred him back to that het puzzle and I'm gonna show you what hatched out of the, that pairing. Needless to say, it did prove genetic. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys the difference between these guys and a vanilla pastel 100% het puzzle. So I'm gonna pull out the vanilla pastel het puzzle now. This is a vanilla pastel 100% het puzzle. Clearly, none of this funkiness going on, none of that crazy patterning, very, very standard, very bright, but that's just a vanilla pastel. So the fact that, I, I, I at first I thought this was a fluke, and that we didn't really know what, what was going on. But I'm going to show you what hatched out from what I've been calling that pastel vanilla chaos bred back to his mum. Okay. Okay. So we hatched ourselves a puzzle. We hit on a vanilla pastel puzzle here. Now, so the male did prove out to be het puzzle. Okay. So here's the vanilla pastel puzzle. Here's where it gets very interesting. What's that? This also hatched out from that, that exact pairing. This is what I believe to be a repeat of the father. So I believe that this right here is a vanilla pastel chaos and we hit another one which proves it genetic. Now, I don't see anything in the mother that makes me say that it would throw this craziness of a pattern. Super, super busy patterned. Very, very, very cool. Now, we're going to take a look at the sister as well. And I'll slide her into frame. This is what I believe is a pastel chaos. Crazy patterns. Nothing, uh, just... Just absolutely wild patterned pastel. And if we look at the bellies, it's got that speckling along the belly, but just the, the, real, the real crazy part is how busy the backs are. Now, if you guys have hatched pastels before, you will know that these are not just pastels. Um, I've hatched plenty of puzzles and plenty of pastels. And this is not just a, just a pastel. So this is, these are the two that I believe are chaos. And of course, it could, we couldn't just rely on one breeding to prove this out. So I bred that original male again to an unrelated pastel. I bred that pastel chaos, the father of these guys, to an unrelated pastel not in the puzzle project, just a straight pastel female, not even a similar bloodline, completely different bloodlines uh, of animals. And I'll show you what those babies look like. Okay. So here are babies from the pastel vanilla chaos to a unrelated pastel. Now, this is why I'm saying I believe it to be recessive. It's a funky pattern, but I don't think that I could consistently pick these out. So this is a pastel vanilla, very funky pattern. It could be a very visual hat, or it could very well be an incomplete dominant. I'm not really sure how this stuff is working. I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we are playing with here and, uh, and let you guys decide. So this is the pastel vanilla, what I've been calling a het chaos. Here's a super pastel. It's got a little bit of this like flecking in the sides. I don't know if you see that, but nothing that, again, nothing that I can say with 100% certainty that I could pick out time and time again and say that, oh, that is the characteristic that defines this morph. I don't know if I could do that, which is why I'm calling it a het because the visual is super, super visual, but the hets are a little bit more subtle. 
So that's why I'm calling it a het. This could be a situation that's very similar to, you know, het red azanthic, where the het red azanthic is a visual expression. Uh, at the end of the day, really, what is a pastel? A pastel is a het super pastel, right? It's just the heterozygous form of a super pastel. Super pastel being the homozygous form. Now, here we have a super pastel vanilla, what I believe to be het chaos. But again, nothing that's jumping out off out the page at me. Some of the some some speckling in there, but very very faint. And if somebody told me that this was a super pastel vanilla, I would 100% believe them. I'd say, yeah, it's got a funky pattern, but nothing that I can 100% say. Like I said before, time and time again, that I'd be able to ouch, that I would be able to consistently ow that I would be able to consistently pick these out of, a, out of a clutch. I'm not sure I'd be able to. Anyway, guys, that's sort of the long and short of it. Uh, I'll bring these other, I'll move these guys out and we'll finish the video with these two again. So there's the pastel. Uh, that's the pastel chaos. And then obviously we've got this craziness here. Just absolute wacky, wacky pattern. So what's going to happen uh, this year is we're going to be breeding those two 2017 female, uh, the pair, sorry, not two females. We got a 1.1. So we're going to be breeding th that pair together and hopefully it's visual to visual pairing and we make an entire clutch like this. Regardless, I know it's genetic. I'm just not 100% how it works, uh, but I think we're getting closer and closer to getting the answers. All right, guys, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Maybe you guys are seeing something that I'm not seeing. I hope I explained that well enough. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, none of these animals are available at the time. Uh, it's something that I want to play with a little bit more and make sure I know for sure how it's working. I think the visual to visual pairing, that's going to really determine what's going on here. Uh, if, if we get an entire clutch of them, I mean, that's pretty con conclusive. Uh, just being able to reproduce it has been pretty conclusive to me. Let me know what you guys think. Sh drop a comment down below. I'm really, really curious to, know, to see what you guys think of this and, you know, how it's working. Maybe some one of you guys has something similar. I am, you know, this is new waters for me. These just sort of popped up randomly. I have no real clue what's going on. I've done the, the basic breedings that, uh, the, to, to prove these, these out, but I haven't worked any other genes into it. I have nothing else going into it other than that original stuff. So you guys let me know. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, do your thing YouTube, and we will see you guys next week.